Welcome back. Three children have a new lease on life thanks to the creativity of several local teens. Those teens have created prosthetic hands, and tonight the recipients are not just dreaming of new adventures, they're living it. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan brings us their story. Climbing the monkey bars is something many children do while growing up, but nine-year-old Caitlin McCarthy of Derby is excited to do it for the very first time. Because I got my new hand, I'm mostly excited about tying my shoes a little more. Caitlin was born without part of her right arm, but now she's getting a chance to see what it's like to live like most other children her age, with two functioning hands. Grab something off the playground or like get anything, I can grab it with both of my hands. She's one of three children getting a 3D printed prosthetic hand as part of a unique program sponsored by Western New York STEM and AT&T. 30 local middle and high school students worked this summer to design the hands. They were involved in every step of the process from design to software to 3D printing. There are some obstacles to overcome. There were some technical difficulties that the kids had to work through. But that's part of the STEM experience too, learning how to be a problem solver, learning how to be a creative thinker. It's a rewarding experience for the students and the families grateful for a day they hoped would one day come. When he was born, we kind of wonder, you know, you wonder with the unknown, but there's nothing that'll slow this kid down. Sean Muldoon's son, Caden, was born without his left arm, but the energetic five-year-old loves to swim and play soccer. He's also a little shy, but dad says he's excited to be able to hold a hockey stick with two hands, just like the other kids. Well, for us too, it's about, it's about giving him the options to realize that there are these prosthetics that he can use in the future for riding a bike, for playing games, for, for playing catch. Caden is already putting the hand to work, using it to poke and hug his big sister. In Buffalo, Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News.